So we will be going in and transforming this 613. Because as y'all can see, some of the parts of this unit is 613. But this is a unit that was 1B. And the parts that are 613 are burnt. So let's... Y'all know 613 is hard to achieve without damaging your hair. But we're going to um transform this little old bang wig. And I'm going to turn it to rose gold pink. And I won't be talking throughout this video. It's, everything is self-explanatory. But yeah... <laughs> So I did use that purple color by Adore. I don't know the exact name, but I'll leave it in the description box below. But I only did a few drops at a time and dipped the unit as I went because I did not want the hair to become the actual purple that was the actual color. So I had, you know, once you dilute something with water, it takes the strength away. So it became pink and that's what I wanted. I did that dip this hair about five times, but you can do six to be on the safe side, but I dipped this hair five different times. This is the unit after it air dried overnight. And as you can see, you can see some rose. It's actually an ombre from rose gold to pink. And the parts that turn super blonde, the 613 color, are the parts that turn pink. And the parts that stay like the light, the darker blonde color, are the parts that turn rose gold. So it's kind of an ombre. And a six and a pink parts are <laughs> fried and it did create a little layerage and you'll be able to see that once you see the hair completely blown out but this color did come out exactly how I wanted it I didn't have a set goal but I did not want it to be purple I wanted it to be pink so I did get the results that I said I wanted I just didn't know how they will look exactly because of the different blonde tones in the wig but I love it and shout out to my cousin Lanicia she did make this unit this was the first wig she ever made with my guidance of course and she did amazing I did do the the um lifting process i lifted it twice from 1b using a 40 volume developer and light blue be bleach and i did double process the hair and it became that blind color which you saw at the beginning of the video and now it's rose gold pink and i am blowing out the hair on the highest heat and that's the only way you can get your hair at its straightest if you blow it out on the highest heat using the comb attachment and make sure you guys use products when you're styling hair. I don't know why a lot of y'all do not use product, but yeah, it's better you use product on your hair. And I did 
go in with that heat protecting spray. I also used a leave-in um, serum on the hair. And eventually, I'm going to go in and spray some um, volumizing holding spray on the hair. And I forgot the name of this curling iron. I know it's, I think it's a two, the specs of the curling iron will be below. But I did get it from the thrift store in Mississippi and it was only two bucks. As you can see, the two bucks sticker is still on there. But yeah, y'all, if y'all broke and y'all want to do some hell, better hit up the thrift store. Y'all need some styling tools. They're real cheap. And as you can see, it's curling real good. And I'm pin curling the hair so the curls can cool down and have longevity. Your curls last long once you pin curl them. Everybody knows that. And the way I pin curl hair is just that after I take my styling tool off, I like to twist the curl in the direction that it was going in with the curling iron and pin it up so I will keep it in that same direction after I spray it and just twist it up and put the um bobby pin on it i'm using bobby pins but you can use whatever clip you have and i don't know to me i describe these as roses roses circles they look like little tornadoes they look like the eye of a storm whatever you want to do long as it's in a circular motion and pent up your curl will hold
And for the bang, I'm just going to bump it slightly. I don't want it to be too curled to where it look like Shirley Temple. I'm just going to bump it slightly so it doesn't look so straight. And once you take your pin curls out, you just sculpt and style your curls to your liking and desire, and then you're done.